Hello, Miriam here at the Bureau of Meteorology with a look at the weather for the week ahead. Let's jump straight in with a look at our current mean sea level pressure chart. We've got high pressure across Eastern Australia and across Western Australia. And sandwiched between these two, we've got this cold front over the bite. And it's really this cold front that's gonna be driving most of the weather over the next few days. It's gonna reach Southeast South Australia and Adelaide late this afternoon going into this evening before moving across Tasmania, Victoria, and Southern New South Wales through tomorrow. Other showers across the country are mainly gonna be confined to the Queensland coast, mostly the North Tropical Coast. Really though, it's all about the Southeast. So taking a closer look at that now, let's have a look at the 850 hectopascal temperatures. Now that's temperatures above the surface at around the height of the Victorian mountain ranges. Overlaid, I've got the forecast rainfall, as you can see by these blobby blue colours along the frontal band. As that front approaches and moves through, we can see an interesting pattern emerging. We've got mild conditions with building showers ahead of the front, a band of heavier rain and isolated thunderstorms along the front itself, and behind, in this cooler air, indicated by the bluer colours, we've got much more isolated showers. This is going to become particularly important through Tuesday afternoon and evening when the front reaches the ski fields. We're going to have warm rain ahead of the front, which could lead to snow melt about those higher peaks. In fact, when that coldest air reaches the northeast, we're really only left with very isolated rainfall, which means snow associated with this cold front is likely to be on the lower side of things. The rainfall totals themselves, though, are going to be fairly moderate, particularly about northeast Victoria and northern Tasmania. We could see some local river rises in these areas, but widespread flooding is not expected. Taking a look at the rest of the week now, we're going to see a few more fronts passing across Tasmania, with more showers being maintained through the later part of the week, but they'll struggle to push further inland uh, and mostly be impacting western Tasmania. Elsewhere across the country, this high pressure is going to dominate with dry and clear conditions across most of the rest of the continent, generating some dangerous fire weather conditions, particularly through northern parts of the Northern Territory. Having a look at the temperatures now for the week ahead, we're going to see a bit of back and forth through the early part of the week. Some cooling in the southeast in the wake of that cold front with a few frosty mornings for Thursday and Friday, but it's the heat that I want to talk about. Through the week, it's going to build from the west and by Friday, we're going to see temperatures two to six degrees above average across most of the continent. The most intense heat is really going to be focused here in central and southern Western Australia with temperatures 10, possibly even 12 degrees above average going into the weekend. If you want more detail on the forecast for your area, you can find it at the Bureau's website or via our social media. Have a good week and we'll catch you next time.